It's time for some insider chef secrets and personal chef Bill Collins from ChefBill.com is here to show us how to heat our pans. Heating, because it's something you wouldn't think is a big deal. No, nope, you ordinarily wouldn't give a whole lot of thought to heating a pan no. because, well, you're just heating a pan. But there is kind of a little art and science to it. And the reason is you look at a lot of recipes and they say put the oil in the pan, heat it up, and then start whatever the recipe is. But here's the downside of that is you look at the pan and how can you tell if it's hot enough or not? And the oil's already in there, and part of the problem that sometimes comes up is the oil's too hot. And if I'm around the kitchen all, every day, and I can look at it and see how the shimmering is going, but I don't do it that way. I prefer to heat up the pan uh, empty, nothing in it. And here's why. It gives you the full advantage <clears throat> of what's happening in the pan so <clears throat> the oil won't burn. Here's what I mean. If you start out with, with a dry pan, you heat it up, say you get distracted, or I should say if you dry it with oil, you're definitely going to uh, burn it. But with a dry pan, where I always keep water right by, uh, always a, a cup of water. And you kind of pop it in there and you get a sizzle. You, nice sizzle with that. Whereas this one is much hotter. And you see it's almost like a little nuclear sizzle oh, going yeah. around. So that tells me that pan is too hot. So here's what I would do. If I had a pan that was too hot, just let it cool down, turn it, uh, take it off the burner, give it a few moments, it'll cool right down. So just to recap that for everybody mm -hmm. out there, it's you want it to evaporate, you don't want it to have that like nuclear particle thing going exactly. on. Exactly. I like to call it the nuclear sizzle. I made that up. Feel free to use it. TM. A exactly. Yeah. But, but here's the thing. Now I know that's ready. I can add the oil. Now, in doing that, uh, I know the oil is not going to burn and I'm ready to cook because especially, as I see, you get distracted, kids are around, mm -hmm. uh, and you're thrown off by a few minutes, you can end up with burned oil or whatever if you're heating it up that way. So it really does give you the full control of, of doing it that way. So now you know you're ready to cook. Now another advantage also of doing it that way is just, again, just for the timing of it, but you've got whatever food you're putting in there, you're not going to burn it. If, if you were to take a screaming hot pan, add the oil in, the oil's going to burn straight away. It's going to break down. It's not going to have the properties of, of helping you know, keep things moving around the pan. So it puts you, again, in full control, but also it's going to make your food taste better. So that step is so important to having a, a well-cooked meal. It is, and people really don't think about it because, well, why would they? Because no, I know. I turn on the pan. I just start throwing yep. everything in. Exactly, and chances are the food is going to turn out just That's fine. So good. But, <laughs> but again, <laughs> not always. I was going to say maybe it's because yeah. I'm cooking. Well, but oh, no. never. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're ready to add the oil. And what's going to happen is you can control exactly how much you want to put in, just a little skim coat, as we are being very healthy. But see how the oil is just shimmering around there? Because mm -hmm. we know the pan is hot. That means we can add the food straight away. But it's not burning. It's not burning. Whereas in there, I would have gotten the big sizzle, and it would have burned, and I would have had to stop and clean the pan. Right. Because that's also another thing. If you've burned the oil, you have to stop and start all over again. Because the burn flavor is something that you're never going to be able to get out of food. Can't shake it. No, can't, no, there's nothing you can do. That's the one rule of cooking is once something is burned, mm -hmm. it, there's no going back to fix it. So now we know this is hot because we're going to now get the sizzle from the onions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's the and, sizzle. And, and there's a sizzle. Now, you also, uh, depending on what you're doing, you can be com in complete control uh, of uh, what you're doing. Uh, for instance, I'm caramelizing onions here. That takes about 40, 45 minutes. But what I also find is that, uh, you know, as I'm breaking these up, but let me back up for a second. If you're just going to start sauteing onions, you don't have to break them up into little parts because the heat will automatically do that for you for the onions. Really? It'll separate it. So you don't have to sit there and, and separate <sighs> each piece of it. <laughs> All You've the time, I'm like, so much time I'm going to smell, saved. I'm crying, this is so much work, it's separating every piece. You don't have to. The heat's oh, going to take care secrets. of it. Se I love secrets. This. I love this. Maybe it's, is, it, is it a chef's secret or is it just that I'm really no, not that because, smart? Because Everyone's kept the secret from you all these years. That's, that's right. So, so now you see it's already started to break up a little bit as it gets a little bit warmer. So here, now I mentioned I keep the water by the pan uh, uh, just for, before the food goes in there. But say the pan's a little bit too hot, you get a little too much browning in the pan. I like to uh, just put in just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or so. Now that's healthier than adding in some more oil. True. Uh, and uh, you're going to still get the same great flavor. It's going to add moisture. Now, say you're a little distracted or one of your kid, kids comes up and bumps you as you're pouring it. And next thing you know, you put too much water in. No big deal. It's going to evaporate. Right. So, it, so again, it's not like if you've done that with oil. The oil won't be evaporating. It'll be absorbed by the mm -hmm. food. So it just gives you uh, just a little bit more control over what you're doing. And as you can see, it, it, this is just breaking up so quickly right there. See, it just pops apart like that. 
You're right. It do really does. I've just added hours to your life because... <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> it's like the kind of thing where I, I dread making anything with onions because it's like such a process, you know? So it's it's these simple things that make cooking more enjoyable yep. and make it easier for people who are busy and who isn't busy, right? E exactly. And wow, it really does... Oh. Oh Isn't that the greatest thing? And even it's so silly. And well, and say you're roasting. Uh, one thing I like to do is roasted root vegetables. Nothing to do with the skillet. You throw them in the oven. I like to do uh, red potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, and onions. I just like to quarter the onions and throw them in because over time they're just going to break apart and they won't burn uh, as they would if you start out with the big pieces of onion. So again, it buys you time and it puts you in control of the food that you're cooking. So Love important. It. Well, thank you so much, Chef Bill. I learned about 10 new things just in, this, in the past four minutes. So <laughs> well, great. I'm sure a lot of other people did, too. Absolutely. I hope I hope I'm not the only one. Right? No, you're not. I learned stuff, too. Don't worry. <laughs> thank you but so this much, is Chef not Bill. the best part. The best part is that Chef Bill is going to show us how to make split pea soup. Absolutely. In just a little bit. Stay tuned for that.